both Democrats and Republicans can agree it's time to fix Michigan's roads. Today, they got some encouragement from some of the state's business leaders. Fox 47's Kellen Buddy was at the Michigan Chamber of Commerce today, where those leaders agreed the time to fix those roads is now. Michigan's roads are a lot like a stoplight, like a driver pulling up to an intersection at a yellow light. Michigan's business leaders say the legislature is running out of time to fix those roads. This issue is really all about moving Michigan forward, and we're encouraging and supporting lawmakers to do the right thing, and we're going to stand with them when they do that. Uh, those that don't will have a lot of explaining to do to motorists who are tired uh, of bad roads. As the years go by, Michigan's roads get worse and the state is falling behind trying to fix them. More roads are falling from good to fair and fair to poor than we're able to improve. And even the $1.2 billion road funding package signed by then Governor Rick Snyder in 2015 won't be enough to reverse that trend. The governor has um, stated that the price is $2.5 billion today. In a few years, it's going to be $3.5 billion. It's really a situation of pay me more or pay me now or pay me much more later. If we don't get the money in now, the cost will just continue to increase. Ackerson says every $1 spent now fixing roads saves 6 to $14 down the road. With the legislation set to resume session next week, Ackerson and other leaders are expecting they'll be ready to find a solution. We hope that they're ready to roll up their sleeves, get to work, and come up with a plan that can be implemented and passed with this budget proposal um, that will fix our roads. And the state's budget with that long-term plan to fix those roads must be passed by the legislature by October 1st. Reporting in Lansing, I'm Kellen Buddy, Fox 47 News. You can learn more about Michigan's infrastructure needs by clicking on this story on our website, fox47news.com or on the Fox 47 app.